this phone game just gets me sucked in and it's designed to do that. I have to delete it off my phone. Do you want God's plan for your life? Do you want to discover your calling? Do you want to build a business that's aligned with God's will? Hey girl, hey, I'm Jeanette, business and faith coach. After a decade in the military, the Air Force said, see you later, and I had to find my true calling. Want to know how God directed my life from a cybersecurity engineer to a faith and business mentor? In this podcast, I'll teach you how to start a business, how to know your business is God's calling, monetization techniques, how to trust the Holy Spirit, and how to set boundaries to listen to His word alone. Ready to become unapologetically unstoppable? Hey girl, hey. I am so excited about this episode because I think it needs to be talked about. Straight up. It's about attention, right? I feel like everything that we are doing in life needs attention. Our kids, our husband, the phone, the everything, right? Whatever is holding our attention rules our world. Think about that. If your business is holding your attention, your business is ruling your world, right? And so when I think about my attention and I think about the things that I pay attention to on purpose, when I purposely pay attention to, I try and make specific time for my children. Meaning I don't have my phone in my hand. I don't have the TV on. It's not while I'm doing something else. It's I am 100% focused on my kids. Same thing with my husband. He'll start talking to me while I'm watching a TV show and I'm like, nope, pause the TV. I need to hear what you're actually saying to me. I need to pay attention. I need to look you in the eyes and say, okay, okay. Yes, I understand. Let's talk about this. Because I, it's so easy for me to just blow everything off. There's a million things that are asking, like literally made and designed to keep our attention, like TikTok, like Instagram, like all the social media things, right? And I'm not saying social media is bad. Don't misunderstand me. I'm saying social media is designed to keep our attention. It's designed to keep us on that platform. So we, as human beings, and the the creators and designers of the life that we are living, right, have to say no to things. We have to be objective and in that moment say no to things. My phone has this thing where it logs how much time I spend on it. And sometimes it'll be like, you spent one hour more on your phone this week or you spent four hours less this week. It just depends on the week, but it will tell me every every week, I think it's on Sundays, how much time I've spent on my phone. And if I, if I dig deeper, it'll show me which apps I'm on. And this week I've been very intentional about the apps that I'm on and how long I'm spending on those apps. Right now I'm in a season of we're moving. We're PCSing, we're military, we're PCSing, which means we're having a permanent change of station, permanent new base, right? That's that means we're moving. And so because of that, I'm in this mode of, all right, I got to get organized for the move. I got to get rid of things. I got to get organized. But that means that I'm not paying as much attention to things that don't matter about that. So I'm not watching TV as much. I'm not hanging out with people that don't matter. I'm spending specific time with people who I want to create deeper relationships with before I leave. And I'm trying to spend more time in my business so that way I can get good systems up and running before I move. So that way when I'm in that moving stage, I don't have to worry about business. I don't have to worry about my clients. I don't have to worry about any of that because everything will be up and running. I'll have a well-oiled machine. And the only thing I'll have to worry about is what I'm doing with my kids, how they're feeling what they're doing. My youngest daughter does not travel well. So I'm hoping that we have no throw ups, no, none of no motion sickness. I got to keep them organized and entertained. I'm homeschooling. I got to figure out how I'm going to homeschool on the road or if I'm going to homeschool on the road. Right? So these are things that are now holding my attention in my mind. So I need to take some things off my plate, attention seeking things, right? Spending less time on social media, spending less time on social media, doing things that aren't money making activities. If it's not trying to 
talk to people who could pay me or talk to people who need me. I'm not going to just randomly scroll though. I'm not going to get sucked into the real, the reels or the TikToks or I don't TikTok, but, or any of those things that are designed to make me stay on the platform. So I want you to think about what are you doing in your life right now that is taking you away from the thing that you need to actually be doing? What is taking your attention? Who is taking your attention? Right now I'm in the basement and my family's upstairs and my husband's making dinner and I need to do this. This is what I need to do for me. It's not that I don't love them. It's not that I don't want to be with them, but this is my divine calling, my mission. My mission is encompassed in this podcast. This is part of it, right? So if I'm not doing this, then I actually start to feel anxious and nervous and I don't feel good about life. I start to get snippy because this is the thing that brings me joy. This brings me peace. So if your mission brings you peace, pay attention to the things that you need to do for that. So I play a phone game. I know, I know, I know. I should not be playing phone games. I love phone games. I don't know why. It's like this like compulsive thing. And I'm Anium Graham 3, so I have to be the best at the game, which means I got to play it a lot, okay? I hate that. I hate that about myself. I hate that it is a thing that I get sucked into. And I decided today that I'm going to delete that thing. I'm going to delete that app off my phone. I've been playing it for a while. I'm at level way too high to even tell you because it's embarrassing. But I'm going to delete it off my phone because it's spending time, which I could be spending doing something else, learning more about God, learning more about my kid, learning more about my husband, spending more time creating these boundaries for other things, organizing my dishes. I don't know. It literally anything. It's just wasting my time. So this week, that's what I'm doing because my attention and what I'm paying attention to matters. And I'm going to get a little preachy on you here, but the devil knows that. And so the devil's going to put these things in your way to take your attention off your mission, to take your attention off the things and people that matter for your life here on earth. So do that. Take a look, take an inventory of the things that you're paying attention to that you should not be. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't play phone games. That's a conviction on your own. I know what I should not be paying attention to. This phone game just gets me sucked in and it's designed to do that. I have to delete it off my phone. Wow, that was so good. So I know that you know somebody that also needs to hear that. So share this episode, leave a review. And I would love if you could watch my free workshop at JeanettePeterson.com slash missing piece. I'll see you guys over on the grams at Jeanette.Peterson. Bye.